sleeping in straight. Great. My role here at the dog branch is I'm um, head of training. So I'm an instructor and I organise all the courses that go in and out of the, the dog centre. My role here is a constable within Strathclyde Police Dog Branch, um, where I'm a dog handler handling a general purpose and a specialist dog. We have approximately, we have 50 dog handlers with approximately 85 dogs. We have 50 general purpose dogs. Every officer gets a general purpose dog, which is a, a German Shepherd. We tend to stick to German Shepherds. That's not saying that uh, Rottweilers and Dobermans and Belgian Shepherds are not suitable. But German Shepherds that we have found over the years are the best all-rounders. We also are um, doubled up with a specialist dog. We have various specialisms. We have explosive detection, drugs detection, uh, victim recovery, and cash detection, firearms detection. <laughs> If, if it becomes apparent that a criminal who has committed a serious crime is running away and they will not stop, then a police officer is fully trained and they're licensed and they must issue at least two warnings that the dog is going to be released. The dog is then released from the lead and sent to detain the suspect. The dog is trained to detain only by biting on the right arm and only if it became conflict at the other end, whereas maybe the criminal or the offender was getting into conflict with the dog, would the dog bite elsewhere, only because the arm wasn't available, but they are trained um, to detain a suspect by one bite on the right arm. Closest detection training, it's um, quite a controlled uh, method of training dogs, obviously because of the dangers involved with the substances we're using, um, but ultimately it's to complete searches of, um, of routes, buildings, vehicles, etc., uh, primarily for uh, VIP visits to the city of Glasgow or Strathclyde area, um, to cover these areas with the dogs to ensure that there's no explosives um, concealed within. Drugs detection dogs go through an eight week training course here at the Dog Training Centre um, where they'll go out um, on a day to day basis into different training environments from here just to try and um, acclimatise them to which, what they're going to work in um, at a later date. Um, but basically they'll be, they'll be um, taught to associate the, the, the reward which is normally a ball with the types, different types of drugs that they're uh, trained to detect in these environments. <laughs> Everything that we do is reward based training. Um, they all do it, it's just a big game to the dog. If they don't enjoy it, they won't do it. You can't through compulsion uh, and force a dog to do an exercise. There are certain things you could get them to do, but they wouldn't be good at it. So everything we do is through uh, praise and reward. Every exercise is all through fun. The dog is actually looking for a toy. We initially start off with another police officer running away with the dog's toy, and the dog is only going in to find his toy. When he finds the suspect or the decoy, then we reward the dog. So it's all reward-based training. That's a good boy! Good boy! Yes! Yeah. Okay! Okay! <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll evaluate each dog in its own merits um, and they'll be developed at um, a speed that suits the dog. If there comes a point where the dog's obviously not going to progress to the required level, then the decision will be made to, to rehome the dog into a, 
a pet environment or a, an environment that suits the dog better rather than continue on with something that's not going to be suitable or, or happy doing the job um, at the end of the day. Operational is basically they'll start the shift with the handle on their GP dog and they'll go into the vehicle um, and they'll, they'll do whatever duties have been um, detailed to them for that day, whether it be normal um, police duties or whether it's going to involve their specialism. Um, and they'll basically wait until they're called, ready to go at, at uh, basically any time during their, their, their day or um, if they can also be called out from their days off or whatever, if their, their particular specialism is required. They're always ready to go, pretty much like the cop they're attached to.